This is the C47 calculator. It's a modified DM42. So what you need to do is download the software from the C47 website and install it on the DM42. The instructions to do the install are included with the software. Pretty straightforward. Um, and then you need to get a keyboard overlay. There's two suppliers for this keyboard overlay. The first one is from the official C47 website. It costs about $20. It's an adhesive overlay, so you peel off the paper backing and then you stick it on your calculator. There's two other options from SPIF72 on the HP handheld calculators forum. The middle one is the overlay that has tabs. There's no adhesive layer. So these tabs just fit into small slots on the DM42. And this is the overlay I'm using on this calculator that's installed right now. I installed it about, I think about six months ago, somewhere in the three to six months ago. Um, it's been on the calculator ever since. It hasn't given me any trouble whatsoever. It stays in place quite nicely. Um, probably not as robust as the adhesive overlays, but it was the, the overlay I tried first because I didn't want to commit to the adhesive overlay. I just wanted to set this one on the calculator and try it out. And you can do this with this overlay as well as with the official C47 overlay. Since the cutouts go all through all layers, you can just lay it on top of your DM42 and try it out without committing to being, uh, to converting your calculator to a C47 quasi permanently. Um, there's another offering from SPIF72. It's, it, it's also an adhesive overlay, um, but it does not have the cutouts through the back paper layer. So you have to, in order to lay it out or set it on the calculator to try it out, you have to peel off the paper layer, which exposes the adhesive. So it's more of a, um, more of a commitment to try that overlay on your DM42 versus the other two. But um, in any case, you get the overlay, you install the software, and then you've got yourself a C47 calculator. So in this video, I wanna turn it on, okay? And I wanna reset this calculator so it's the same state as what you get when you install the C47 firmware or software for the first time. And to do this, we go to the clear menu, which is two presses of the shift key, and then select clear. And then on the F1 key, reset is on the um, G shift layer. So it's two presses of the yellow key or shift key. And then you select F1 to reset the calculator. It asks you to confirm. We say yes. And now it will completely reset the calculator. So it'll look exactly like your calculator would look right after you install the C47 software. So it's basically a reset state. You get a splash screen at the end that tells you the version number, um, some comments about it being open source. And you can press any key. So I'll press exit to, um, to start running the C47 software. Now there's a couple of settings that I like to change for my own um, personal taste or preferences. Um, the first one is that I use the My Custom Menu. It's called My Menu. It's a customizable menu quite a lot. And I like the feature of pushing the triple, pushing the shift key three times and having it show the my custom menu. Um, in this case, when you press it three times, it shows the home menu instead. Uh, and if I press it three more times, it shows the last menu I was at. So instead of this setting, I would like it to show my custom menu, which is this menu that we see right now, uh, when anytime I press the yellow key three times. So, just, so to make this uh, preference known, we go to the mode key, okay? And then we select um, down arrow, and on the F5 key, if we shift twice and then press F5, that setting tells it that anytime I push the yellow key three times, it should show my menu. So if I press it three times now, I see my menu. And now, unlike before, if I press it three times again, it comes to this menu. So any menu I open now, if I go to mode, go to display, go to last X. So I've opened three different menus now, if I press the yellow button three times, it comes back to my menu. In contrast, if I open three different menus, and maybe complex, now I could, um, oops, I didn't open the complex menu, but there. So I've opened at least three menus now. Now each time I press the exit key, it'll close the most recently opened menu. So I can close those menus by pressing the exit key three times, or I could just triple press the yellow key to get back to this um, custom menu. 
Okay, so I'm gonna clear that off the stack because that was unintended. All right, the next thing I like to do is change, well, I like to display the battery um, voltage on the status bar. So we can do that as well, it's a flag. So we go to the mode key, the mode menu, and then we go to the configure button or menu, which is on the F6, shift F6. Okay, and this is a, a display of many different status or flags um, that you can set. Now the one I wanna do is the status, I wanna show the battery voltage on the status bar, and I just got there by doing the down arrow three or four times, and I can see it now on the F1 key. If I press this button, then a little enunciator shows up in the upper right-hand corner that shows the status bar, uh, in the status bar, what the battery voltage is. So my battery's about half used up. All right, so I like having that feature, and now I don't wanna do any other flag settings, so I'm gonna exit the menu, and I'll press the yellow button three times to get back to my home custom menu. And then the other thing I like to do is change how the calculator displays complex numbers. So to show this, or to see the effect, I'm gonna enter a complex number. So first I'll do one, enter, two, and then shift, enter, which is complex. And then I see the number on the stack as one plus two times I, the imaginary number I. Now I'm an electrical engineer, so I like to show the imaginary number as a J. It's just user preference. And if I wanna see that, I can go to the, to the display menu and do down arrow two times. And then on the F6 key is the setting to change the complex indication to be a J. So you have to shift F6, and then the I is replaced with a J. The two other changes I like to make are on the F4 key. And when you press that, it puts the J in front of the imaginary number instead of behind the imaginary number. That's just my, my personal preference. And the other one I wanna change is on the F6 key, and that'll change the multiplication symbol from an X to a dot. So this is the format I prefer, prefer for complex numbers. One plus J, two. One plus J, imaginary. So real part plus J, imaginary part. All right, so those are the preferences I like. So if I triple plus the yellow key, now I'm back to um, the home menu. And that's how I set up my calculator. So the next thing I'm gonna do, and this will probably be video two. So I'm gonna end this video here and start video two next.